Put your fingers on that little machine and get freaking record, because that's what GameStop is doing to you. You're gonna need some fucking fingerprints, that's right, man. Usually this shit only happens when it comes to picking up your checks that you had to pick up from your family members or somebody who sent you a check from other states or out of the country. And usually sometimes you actually do do this stuff for like freaking library books or you'll be part of a membership of a fucking um, discount stuff around there. And what's it called? Prison. And that's what people actually feel when they go to game stuff. They feel like they're going to prison. Not getting some discounts from freaking groceries. No, you're going to video game prison. Which I sort of do agree around here because there is actually people who impersonate people who could get those games around there. Or they say, oh, I'm this person's um, boyfriend or girlfriend or brother or sister or just whatever you want to go with. And you know, it does kind of seem fishy around there until you show them fucking ID, which I do all the time. Like, oh, here's my fucking ID. Like, dude, you know where I fucking I live. I'm not like fucking 10 minutes away from here. You could call the cops if you want. You could, there's my address right there in my ID. So you could actually arrest me if the person comes here because you saw my ID when it comes to mature games. And I bet you anything they can actually track down the transactions of my debit card, which I fucking do. And you know, that's another thing what GameStop is doing around there with credit cards, which I will talk about later on. So, what do I feel about? It is completely bullshit. Okay, so you got your ID, you get the information, or you get the freaking on GameStop power card, or whatever you want to go with, or you're actually familiar that this is like, oh, this guy is, this guy is my basically uh, regular customer. So, what's up, dude? Like, oh, sorry, man, dude, the policies around here, I gotta freaking get your fingerprints. Like, but guy, you know me. I'm sorry, man, we gotta fucking do this. Bullshit policies. <coughs> I don't want to work. I don't want to work a shop here anymore. <sighs> but you know, it is kind of fucking stupid. And the thing is, that I went through that same situation as well. When I was so excited for a South Park Stick of Truth, I got the bullshit around there. I just said that I've been paying this motherfucking shit for a while, and you know, every check I get, I pay at least ten dollars of the pre-orders I was getting. And you know, this is the same dude who saw me along with his manager, it sucks about his manager wasn't there that time, he would have backed me up, but you know, I picked up Fable Anniversary, Bravely Default, and fucking Lord of Shadows 2. And this is the same dude who witnessed those fucking transactions I did, and he actually saw me pay the final, actual final transaction to Stick of Truth. Yeah, I slide my card, bam. and. That's what he motherfucking did though, and you know, I got pissed off that this dude was trying to rip me off. That I had to pay at least, oh, uh, do, 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 like 159 and something cents to get a, my own copy of South Park and Stick of Truth when I already freaking transaction him. I could have won the argument if I brought my freaking, you know, my, ba my bank statements. Or like, well, here's some fucking papers. I didn't want to bring this, bro, but I had to fucking do this. You're trying to rip me off. I am not going to accept that shit. I fucking pre-ordered that shit. You saw me pre-order that motherfucking shit. So here's my transactions. There you go. Fucking thank you. So, but And, you know, my friend and my girlfriend actually know this fucking um, situation I went through. And they agreed that it was complete bullshit. But yet, you know, we it is, you know, reasonable that there's people impersonating things around there. But when you're a regular ass customer, it's kind of bullshit. And once again, if the manager was there at that time, that motherfucker would have backed me up. And he was a really cool guy. It's just that that game stuff is good. I'm in. Not all game subs are your basic stereotypes around there. It's just that that game stuff over there is a really good game stuff. Except there's gonna be one asshole who's gonna fucking ruin your experience and fuck you, man. So GameStop is making you do credit cards around here. That's really fantastic. You know, I could finally be bankrupt as a 13 year old boy or girl. Yes, girls do play video games. Don't be denial. So that's fucking great. So you can live as an early adulthood being as a broke ass motherfucker. And you know, I don't really rely on my credit card all the time because you know, when it comes to my credit card, I have to use it for important things like such as, you know, when I have no money and there's no food in the house, I go to freaking do my credit card, get some food for my family, and bam, sometimes I even cook it. I fucking make some chicken, I make some fucking cakes, I make some fucking rice, and so on, so on, so on. Or when it comes to like Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, and you know, like you know those special times of the day, I fucking do that because you know that's just showing my appreciation and generosity to some other people around here. Even though it does makes me go to um, bah, makes me go broke, and I gotta pay that later on. And you know it's frustrating. But hey, 
you can actually buy video games with that credit card now, right? That's fucking great. That means you can buy all the Call of Duties, you can buy all the freaking Destinies, you can buy anything you want and live as a freaking bankrupt motherfucker, 13 year old or older. But it's fucked up. Because come on, when you actually get a debit card or credit card from Walmart and Target, you get more than fucking games. And literally, you get more than fucking games. Even Amazon does the same shit. I said, you know, Amazon, you can get a lot of crap, and especially on sale. And you know, I like to shop on Amazon. I have an addiction to Amazon. I think that's the reason why I went bankrupt in the first place. Only for one day, okay. But still, Amazon does the same thing, except it's less, you know, interest than GameStop. And you know what GameStop is trying to do that they're going to charge you let's see where we gotta go. It is twenty-seven percent interest rate. That's pretty fucking high, and I really mean it, that's high. Well when it comes to like red like Target, Walmart, Amazon, PlayStation, those cards are basically low interest rate and sometimes they can spike up. But after seeing the Steam though, it's just that seeing their high interest rate is not really that high compared to GameStop. Since GameStop is default to 27 interest rate, when clearly the other ones are either 19 or 20s or 13, up to their 20s of percent of interest rate. That's pretty low compared for an actual default thing around there. And the thing though, I'm reading this freaking article around here that it said that this guy says he feels sorry for GameStop employees around there. I do feel sorry for them that they had to say that, oh, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, blah, 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 blah. And you know, and when they say no, we'll be like, sorry man, I don't, I'm not really interested. And I do the same thing when it comes to Target. Like, oh, you want to apply for Target credit card or Walmart credit card? Like, no, I'm good, sorry, I'm just here to get my groceries. That's all. Even though I do shop the same freaking Target and Walmart, but I always tell them, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to be interested. It's just how I am. I don't like credit cards. And before you're saying, well, you don't have to buy the credit card. Well, the thing is, though, those are the people who support GameStop. And you know, 27% interest rate is pretty fucking high. So you could pay them later, plus 27%. You'll be in fucking debt if you buy a deluxe edition of a fucking game that, I don't know, like a high super edition that is over the price money around there. <coughs> Which, you know, some of the be some of the ones are really not that good. But it really depends how GameStop offers to you. And you know, if I basically spend like $10 with freaking what's the call like a Microsoft points and if I do the credit card I could get later on be charged if I don't pay that ten dollars I could get like two dollars and seventy cents or more a freaking increase that's right I have to pay additional more until I have to pay those guys so that's kinda hard around there that's a pretty pretty high interest rate so there's this guy who did this article sorry man it's really pretty high and it's really bad around there and I don't like how you get a little upset for Walmart compared to the GameStop. A GameStop store is small compared to a fucking big ass Walmart. Even those freaking only market the ones of Walmarts is pretty big. And I really mean it's pretty big. So I'm gonna ask you, what did you feel about the fingerprints and the credit cards? You think it's a good thing? You think it's a bad thing? Either way, think how you feel, let me know. Leave your comments down below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, leave a thumbs down. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you enjoy the actual video or my other content as well. And this is XChitZanif. Have a wonderful day and take care and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.